All right, let's learn how to make a scrunchie. So you need some yarn. I'm using this one, which is like a velvet yarn from Daiso. And uh, you also need some hair ties and elastics. The proper crochet hook. Use the correct size for the yarn. Scissors for cutting, so you can go snip, snip, snip. And let's get started. Prep the yarn. Now usually I unwind and wind it up into a ball, but there are other techniques as well. Use one that works for you. Then get your uh, tie. This is how the end result will look like. So this one I made with a treble crochet and uh, the other one is just like a double stitch, usual stitch. Okay, so bear with me here because I'm working with um, uh, a new vlogging equipment. So, anywho, get your tie, get your yarn, knot it, and then you can start crocheting. So, you need to do um, like, well, this is what I do. I tie it up, and then I hook it under, and then I do three chain stitches, and then another three chain um, and then I do a treble crochet, which is like you wind it twice around the hook and then pull through two and then pull through another two through holes and then pull through the last two and then chain three again and then do that double wind and then you can tuck in the excess um, yarn. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and then chain three. And just repeat that over and over. The excess yarn, you can tuck it into the chains when you do it, like when you go under the elastic and pull up, you can tuck the extra yarn in. So again, just pull through two holes at a time and then chain three. All right, and just do that over and over until you feel like it's pretty much the length or the waviness, the lacy do. I don't know whatever you call it, but just like, yeah. Here I am, speed crocheting, woohoo! All right, so here's where you close it off. After the last chain three, you're going to go back to where you started, count like three chains from the bottom, and then slip stitch into that third chain. Um, this yarn may, might make it a little difficult, to, but you can find it, I'm sure, like I did. And then just pull through, and then slip it there in that hole again, and then just lock it up. Just chain one to lock it up. Then cut, leave a little bit because you're gonna tuck that in, okay? Don't just cut it real short because if you cut it real short, the problem there is it might unravel. So I usually cut it at a certain length and then I tuck it in, I pull it through and I tuck it in through the other like chains or other stitches just to protect it. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And voila, there you go. There's your scrunchie. 